uh, majority leader. <laughs> today I'll not wear a, a national hat. I will speak as uh, one of the leaders from the Rift Valley. Mm. Just like uh, Susan Kiika here, among others who are here. We know that, and we've said this for an, a long time now, for almost uh, from the part of last year to this year, that there is a plan for a state instigated violence. And the stage is Rift Valley. And the acts are intended for political reasons. This is simple. And I like to speak a very simple, in a very simple way. The Asla narrative has united all Kenyans who believe that every hustle matters and that we should speak matters economy regardless of our community and tribes. The candidate of one William Ruto has been accepted across the country. Mm -hmm. The players of Uhuru succession who are deep inside the government arch plans like you read in our statement starting from corruption instigated charges removal of leaders now the last card they have the last card because they have realized bbi doesn't work mm. the last card they have is to instigate violence in the rift so that communities because rift valley is the only is one of the regions that has every community in the country mm. and so that then if there's violence rift valley blame it on william william ruto then once you blame on William Muto, you go to what they have already announced that he will not be in the ballot box. So the objective here is political, like in our statement, so it's a political sport. But unfortunately, political sport using human lives. Mm. Yeah. Using yeah. human lives. Shame. Shame on them. President Uru Kenyatta, uh, accompanied by most of us here, visited the ICC with the deputy president. And what did they tell ICC? that we started reconciliation process in 2012. We have sorted all IDPs, they are settled. Everybody has gone back to their land. They even pro they told the world that as a result of their coming together, now Kenya is a peaceful nation. Mm. The president came to parliament and announced that there was a 10 billion that has been put in place to ensure that all the TGRC related issues are settled. Now, we want to know the truth. Did President Uru Kenyatta lie to ICC? Did President Uru Kenyatta lie to Parliament mm. by saying that those issues have been sorted? Is do we believe the older President Uru Kenyatta or the current one that is supporting a DCI who is reopening a chapter that has been closed? Mm. So these are the questions we are asking ourselves. We are saying the real President Uru Kenyatta should come out. Yeah. Are you the one who told the ICC you've sorted these issues, or you are the one now who is reopening these issues? Mm. And even then. We have agreed as leaders to talk a rift valley. Mm. Ata liwe liwalo. Juu mm -hmm. chini. Yes. Siasa yende nyuma mbele. Right. Jubilee kue isi kue. Tumeamua ya kwamba hakuna tena mwananchi ata mwaka damu yes. kwa sababu ya siasa. Yes. That is our resolve. Yes. It will not change. Yes. Kinote and shenanigans. I, I hear he was uh, issuing another statement today trying to apologize. He is, uh, I'm sure somebody, he has realized that what he was doing has backfired. Yeah. We want to tell him we don't want that letter he has written today. Mm -hmm. Let him go straight to a press and apologize to the people of Kenya for pretending to be reopening yes. a process that the president himself announced that it had been solved. Right. The president or if, not, if that is not the case, he should re be relieved of his uh, duties. We get a DCI who is independent, yeah. who can be able to carry out the responsibilities of DCIs in a manner that is befitting a public office. Hiyo tu ndiyo tulikuja kusema hapa, lakini wache ni wambie, wafanye nini, wasifanye nini? Wakalenjin, wakikuyu, wakisi, wajaluo, waluya, wasomali, waturkana, wamasai, wote wenye wanaishi rift vale. There is no time we will fight again. And we leaders who are here, like our statement is stating, while they are going for revenge and reopening those files, those of us who are here believe in peace and reconciliation. Absolutely. And if given a chance to continue leading our people beyond 2022, we will only focus on peace, peace. and reconciliation.